I was in the presence of someone who was very anti-tarot. And um, I felt like my gifts were being blocked, that my business was being blocked, that my energy was being restricted, and I'm so glad to be in a new space with a very good friend and happy and healthy and uh, excited to be here back on Instagram. So hello and thank you for joining. Hello, Mama. How are you? So we are going to do a double whammy. I am going to use, as I said, my Christmas deck. Hello. And I'm going to use um, my Illuminated Tarot, which I will tell you, on the full moon of Gemini, I still did a reading for you guys. I was just not able to post it. I recorded it. I had the cards in sequence, so you'll be getting two cards today. One about um, Santa being good to you, and the other one for your holiday message, okay? The full moon in Gemini is like, it's still active. That energy is still active. That um, the new cycle won't start until about after the solstice, so that's about the 21st or 23rd of December. And uh, Gemini is a sign of communication. And it's a sign of duplicity. It is a sign of the two-faced. It is a sign of the twins. It's the evil twin and the good twin. It's a lot of contradictions. There's a lot of uh, silver forked tongue, I think, is the expression. And so you'll be meeting a lot of people who are wearing masks, a lot of people who say one thing and mean another. So it's a very duplicitous time of, of the year. To have that kind of energy, a Sagittarius energy, and Sagittarius is known to be the most unfaithful sign of the um, of the zodiac is true. I only speak the truth here. And so it's not exactly the greatest time to meet someone new, to get in a new relationship. And everybody wants to have that cuffing season. Everybody wants to have that date to bring home or someone to bring home to, hello, my love, to bring home to uh, the family for Christmas holidays. But it's just really not that great time. So I'm going to start with the collective. I'm going to start with the sign of uh, Sagittarius because we're still in that season. And what were the main cards again? Love! Two of Cups. This is about balance. This is about relationships. It could be friendships also. It could be having two different partners, but it's the overall energy for this reading. It's about pouring your love into something. It could be, hello, my love. It could be pouring your love into somebody. It could be pouring your love into two jobs, two streams of income, two romantic interests, you know. And it goes great with this dual energy of the Gemini twin. So two of cups, two of hearts, two of hearts beating as one. Gotta love it. That's overall energy for this reading. And the bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. That's money. So this lets me know a little bit more so that this is going to be about um, two streams of income, two job opportunities, two places of work, two opportunities in the sense of um, romantic pursuits also. But Pentacles is all about money, okay? And it's love around the world. We have a two and a one, which is a 21. So there's blackjack for you also. We can also look at this as a 12, which was a 12th month of December. And um, I feel this message coming in, and I just did a, 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 a little video on TikTok. You can see that in my previous stories. About the Ten of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, it's really time to monetize your hobbies. It's really time to cash in on your money in the final weeks of this quarter. And I did say I was going to make an announcement, so let me do that now, okay? So we'll let some more people join in. I am hosting a money ritual online with a Zoom class. I'll be issuing out by email in my stories and on my social media the link for you to join. And I will be teaching how to manifest with the uh, new moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is the most industrious sign. It's a sign of ambition and success and material wealth. I am a sun sign Capricorn, so I'll be speaking about my own element. I'm an expert at being a Capricorn. Um, it'll be a Zoom session that's going to be hosted on the 21st of December, okay? So it'll be the 21st of December will be the session, and it's going to be a three-part lesson for you guys. So I'll be posting more information about that over the weekend. And for those of you guys who are stuck in the snow, um, let us know, let us know, let us know. I hope you're warm. I hope you're safe. I hope you're happy. I hope it was a snow day for you also. And so let's get into some Christmas deck, okay? So let's think, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want Santa to bring you? What do the holidays mean for you? Take a deep breath. We're pulling a card for the collective. Once I have a card for the collective, I'll go through the zodiac 
wheel, which starts, like I said, at Sagittarius. One card for the collective, please. Wow. Wow. The Three of Hearts. This is such a compliment to this, okay? So the Three of Hearts is about success. The Three of Hearts is about um, celebration. Okay, and it's celebrating with your friends, it's having a good time, it's going on a ski trip, it's uh, the Three Musketeers, it's very happy celebration of a promotion, of a culmination of a project, a wedding engagement, a wedding, uh, a birthday party, we're celebrating Jesus' birthday, so welcome to the Three of Cups, bottom of the deck, love it, we got that 11 of fire, this is such a twin flame card, there are some of you who are going to be asked out for coffee, or hot chocolates, or a snow day, Something really cute in this uh, holiday season. Be open to receive it. Um, I think a lot of you also are going to be having dreams. I would avoid taking, um, if you can, okay, taking anything to help you sleep if you're not remembering your dreams, okay? So maybe for at least like 11 days to, to purify that. And we have a, a 311, which is all about um, knowing your resources, knowing what's going on around you, and... Uh, we have fire energy and water energy, so that's like, that's literally this card, okay? The alchemy is the fire, and we have this water pouring in and out. And uh, I have this message for somebody in particular. Don't eat food from just anybody and watch your drink when you go out, okay? So first holiday card for Sagittarius, what do we have? The Four of Swords, the Four of Thought. This is about having to take a break. This is about going on a vacation. This is about putting things on freeze, putting it on hold, and not doing anything. It's definitely a card about meditation. Some of you might need to go into like a meditation hut, um, maybe going to an ashram, going to the North Pole, going somewhere. I would really recommend polar bear swimming, going to those places that have uh, hydrotherapy so that you can go to a place where you can detox, where you can relax, when you can think clearly and not have to make a decision until you've gone through the process of um, mental clarity, okay? Four of Swords is about giving your, your mind a break. I highly also recommend yoga, and I recommend yoga uh, in the morning also in particular for you. Your card from the Illuminated Tarot, double whammy on the fours, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is about holding on too tightly for, for something. This could also be maybe you're holding on to a home or a thought or an idea that is not serving your highest good. I have a strong implication of um, old, outdated thoughts blocking you. Maybe you inherited them from your grandmother, your great-grandmother, either side from the family. This has the miser energy, and the miser is someone who collects a lot of stuff, kind of goes to a period of, um, what do you call those people? That, a hoarder going through a horror situation where you have too many things that are blocking your mind and causing that mental clutter. So we have a 44 here, which is a master number. Uh, fours are about foundations. Fours are about homes. Fours are about building. Fours are about stability. So you might need to clear out your home or clear out your mind, in fact, Sagittarius, to get to the point where you want to get to. Good luck with that. Next card, Capricorn. Okay. The Five of Wands. Listen, you might be struggling to like uh, not eat everything your, your eyes see. Okay, you might have uh, what's the expression? Your eyes are bigger than your stomach. My mom says to me all the time. Five of Wands is struggling to get through something, and it's like difficult. Maybe there's some obstructions, but it's like don't give up. So if you're on a detox. If you're on some kind of mission, if you have some kind of plan, if you, you, you need to just get through this month, you know, to finish off a project, whatever it is, do not give up. Have your resilience in place, okay? Uh, the Five of Wands is a fire energy, so you might be burning the midnight oil. Um, this is a strong message. You can like, clock out at 5 o'clock, okay? Just do what you have to do and, and not the extra. Capricorn is very industrious, very uh, worker bee energy, um, strong leadership, and will sacrifice love and relationships for work. Okay, so it might get you success, but it's going to be really lonely for you at the top. What is your card here for the Daily Tarot? Wow! Three of Pentacles. So, some of you Capricorns might be going through third-party energy right now, where there might be someone obstructing your relationship. You might be having to 
choose between two different partners. You don't know which one to choose from. Um, I would say always follow your heart. You might be more apt to go towards the money. I see you also involved in relationships at the workplace that might actually like cut your off on fire. Um, it might be a really high passion. We have a five and a three, which is an eight. So maybe it's someone you have a, um, a karmic relationship with. It could be actually your husband or your wife or a lifelong partner also. Um, but I do see you being very successful in the workplace, okay? Three of Diamonds is about creating something. It's about building something. It's about that one, two, three, go energy, and it's very solid. So you're one step away from getting that solid foundation done. Keep going. Those of you born on the 3rd of January and the 23rd of December may feel this energy a little bit more strong than others. But there is a partnership for you where you can build. And I think you can actually make things work with two people. So it's like a party of three, which is nice. And we have this energy that is actually like kind of playing off of the Sagittarius energy in the sense that we have both have threes in here. We both have three of pentacles and they're in progress and progression. So I feel like since Capricorn season starts in December, it's that carry through. It's that carry through. It's like, don't let the fourth quarter just get away from you. Don't give up now. Keep going and keep plowing all the way through through the end of Capricorn season, which is about uh, January the 18th. Okay, Capricorn, congratulations. We are going into Aquarius. Seven of Swords. Listen, uh, someone's faking you out. Someone's deking you out. Someone is deceiving you. Someone is uh, definitely wearing a mask. Somebody is a totally... Uh, fake to your face and someone's betraying you right in front of your face okay and I think it has to do with a love relationship um, in this case I would say like face the truth the truth will set you free and sweep away anything or anyone that does not serve your highest good okay you've had some pretty good love readings in the last little while Aquarius so having a seven of swords this is someone who betrays you but like it's not a secret. It's like they're doing it right in front of your face. It's like catching someone stealing from you. It's like catching a partner cheating on you. It's uh, knowing you're not getting paid as much as you should be getting paid. Um, I do see this as, you know, someone has two lovers. I, I'm hearing that song. Da -da -da, part time lover. I think it's Stevie Wonder. Um, someone is kind of like playing you on both sides and says, like, yeah, I'm super into you, but they're actually talking to somebody else. Your card from the tarot? Absolutely. Someone is totally sneaking around in you. Ten of Wands. Someone is giving you a lot of burdens and having you carry a lot of weight. This is someone who um, is literally doing this in front of your face. You can actually see what's happening. You might be too busy. You might be afraid to say something also. You might not be comfortable. But you can see. If you open your eyes, you'll see it. You might be too busy at work. You might be too busy taking care of everything else, taking care of two kids, taking care of two jobs, taking care of something else, taking care of you and somebody else, two homes, whatever it is. So you're so occupied and busy. It might be the reason why someone stepped out on you, but I feel like there's some kind of duplicity more so in the workplace, but it actually could be in the relationship also, especially if, you have, if you're working with your partner. Also, we have a seven and a 10, which is a 17, which means there's something you need to heal. Okay, and there's still hope for you. There is still hope for your relationship also. I'm not going to say that's something you should give up on, but I feel like you've overburdened yourself with tasks and responsibilities and other people before taking care of yourself. Okay, so work on that Aquarius. Who's next? We have uh, Pisces. Two of Swords. Listen, baby, you're stuck in the snow. Let us know, let us know, let us know. This is indecision. This is not making a choice. This is kind of like standing back and not going forward. But not making a choice is a choice, right? So two of swords is like coming to an impasse. And when we have this energy coming in as a major uh, influence of the reading, it's kind of like, I don't want to go to that party. I don't want to hang out with those people. I don't want to go on that date. I don't want to be there. I don't want to do anything. Um, I feel like you're getting split in two about something. Like we have these, this two energy. Again, another master number. Master numbers are very difficult and ask you to rise to the task not always easy. Your tarot card, yeah, you're going through a hard time right now. We have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, uh, you had this card last time, Pisces. This is about struggling to get to the top. This is about vigilance. This is about um, seeing the landscape ahead of you and planning and being, being prepared for the worst outcome. Some of you might be literally snowed in your house right now. I hope that uh, resolves for you or I hope you're color with a bug at home. We have a two and a nine, which is 11. Again, another master number. I feel like you're being called to rise up to something, Pisces. You are the most spiritual sign of the zodiac. So 
there's a lot of wisdom that's very heavy for you guys, okay? It's a lot of information, a lot of downloads. You also are a dual sign, so it's like you're always like overanalyzing things, overthinking things. Everything's always doubled up for you. You're up, you're down, and around town, so it's not easy. I feel like the blockages that are coming in through your solar plexus chakra, which is kind of like your sexual, sensual area. This is also the sun card, so it's like your abundance and happiness and joy is completely blocked because of an indecision on your end or duplicity in your relationship. Um, you're being called to clear anything that does not serve you so that you can receive your abundance and your happiness. I do feel like it's coming in for you. It kind of feels like... I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. It's like you're going to get that clarity, okay? So, like, the snow cover will, will blow away, and you're going to be able to see with your eyes wide open. All right? That's Pisces. Who's after Pisces? We have Aries. Look at you with the Ten of Swords. Listen, 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 baby. This hurts. Um, this is about people being flaky with you. This is about having to go through a very heavy, serious betrayal. Someone who has stabbed you in the back. Someone who's constantly always fighting with you. This is being ostracized from your family. This is being fired from a job. This is being putting on um, mental rest leave. This is difficult to deal with, okay? But I want you to know something about the Ten of Swords. It can't get worse than this. It won't get worse than this. It's only up from here. So let's see what we can cheer about in your card. Yeah, baby, it's only up from here. You're going through this very difficult time so you can get to this energy, the four of wands, success, happiness, marriage, fulfillment, promotion, new house, travel, everything you want, okay? So I feel right now your travel abilities might be blocked. You might be blocked from traveling right now and getting to go where you want to, maybe literally because of the snow. Maybe you want to be a snowbird and go to this warm place where the sunset is, but the Four of Wands is literally calling out this card, okay? Your twin flame is on the other side of this nonsense you're going through right now. So sometimes life comes at you with a whole bunch of difficult stuff to test your character, to develop your character, to see who you really are when shit hits the fan. And this is about finally getting there. You went through all those roadblocks, you went through everything, you can finally walk through the beautiful archway into a marriage, into a partnership, into a happiness, into a new job, into anything you want. The four of wands is literally about major, major success. This card is calling my attention now when I keep looking at it. So either way we spin it, we have, um, we have a 14, okay? And the 14 is about temperance. And temperance is exactly what I see in this card. Things are changing for you. Also, Aries, you need to change your diet. You might need to go on a liquid diet or a liquid detox or something about the, um, um, this area, your stomach area is, is affected. Something's hurting you. Something is very painful with the 10 of swords. But with the 10 and the four, again, we have a number 14, which is a temperance. You're going through a process that's changing. You might be changing your mental thoughts, changing your home, changing your partner, um, changing your diet, like I said, changing your lifestyle. But I think it's mostly how you think about things. Okay, this is deep and, and difficult trauma. So knowing that you're going to get through this means you're going to get through it. Okay, honey, it might take four seasons. It might take four months, but one's energy is pretty quickly. So I feel like more like four weeks can really get you into a new cycle, okay? In a new cycle. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Okay, so who's after Aries? After Aries, we have Taurus. Taurus, Seven of Pentacles. Listen, Santa's going to be good to you. They're bringing you some gifts. Seven of Pentacles is such a perfect card for your element, Earth energy. This is a Seven of Earth. This is about being patient. This is about um, everything coming to you. This is about your piggy bank, like just filling up with things. This is about being able to travel. This is about reaping what you sow, okay? So all the seeds you planted in the fall time, in that fall harvest, you're going to be reaping them in your season. It's going to be so good for you. Um, it's time. You're not a fast-moving sign. You're an earth sign. You love things to come slow. You like making love. You like simmer pots. You like taking your time with things. You like to indulge in things. This is where you want to be. This is where you definitely want to be. Santa's going to be so good to you. And I think Santa's going to bring you more than you expect, okay? What is it? Oh, yeah. Santa's bringing you way more than you expect. Ten of Pentacles. Check out my previous story and um, you'll see this energy is there. The Ten of Pentacles is the attainment of everything you want in the material world. It's that second house. It's that bonus trip. It's that beautiful wedding. It's the renewal of 
themselves. It's the house, the kids, the picket fence, and the dogs, and the whole nine, all right? This is everything you want in any way you spin it. Either way, everything is golden, everything is green, okay? The grass is green, the gold is gold. I love this card. You worked really hard for this. You worked very, very hard for that. I think you're going to get a very generous Christmas bonus. Molotov. And um, we have another 17 here. 17 is about healing. It's a star card. You are a star. I think you might hit the jackpot. Listen, Taurus, I'd buy a freaking lottery ticket on this December 17th, which is tomorrow. Go and get your money, honey. This is a blessing, a double down blessing. I love it for you. Give me a call. Give me 10% if you want, all right? I love this for you, Taurus. This is a nice blessing for you, and I feel like you're walking through a door, through a new chapter in your life. I feel like you've worked really hard. You might have been doing some double time and getting all of this green, all of this green pouring into your home life, okay? So you might have even invested in a property, in two properties. In fact, I really keep seeing two homes for you. Um, and there's like either someone or something that feels like home that is coming towards you. And I think people might be super jealous, all right? I recommend using a jade stone, okay? Jade stone and a jade plant. Deuces. Uh, who's after Taurus? We have the beautiful sign of Gemini. Look at this. Okay, look. These were the cards that were coming up. I just pulled was the Eight of Pentacles. Rocking your hobby horse, okay? So this is a little bit about nostalgia in here, but it definitely is about craftsmanship. It's about perfecting your craft. So if you're in school right now, higher learning, taking classes, whether it be online or in person, if you're teaching them, it's about really polishing up your skills for something that's going to come in for longevity, all right? Um, this is also about investments, making investments, taking the time to like teach you research something. Uh, very strong message if you were like, you know, um, what do you call that? The Amazon drop shipping, you have to find like the right product and launch it at the right time to make that kind of money you want to be making. Eight of Pentacles is a card of skills. Eight of Pentacles is a sign of patience. Eight of Pentacles is about putting in the work. Put in the work, Gemini, because it's going to pay off for you. Your full moon in, is in your sign. It's paying off. I feel like you might be wanting to do some double time. Um, you might love two things that are very complementary. For example... You might like coffee and baking, so make a little cafe. I serve premium coffee that I grow in my own land, and I also do these beautiful vegan treats, whatever it is. There's like two things coming in together that can marry up very well. It's very good for you, okay? What is the tarot coming up? Love it! We got the star card, seven of pentacles again. Listen, you might want to check out the Taurus reading because there's some energy in there for you. Um, this is about your blessings coming in. This is about your dreams coming in. We have the seven and eight of pentacles. It's coming in progression. Strong message for those of you born in 87 and 78. Your money is there. The wishes upon a star are there. Everything you want is there. You may not see it yet. Okay, Christmas hasn't delivered yet. But, <laughs> hey, that's right, you know. It is, um, it is, is, <laughs> It is a number 17, which also adds up to an 8, which is two eights. I really see you having, like, two legacies. So either it's, like, your plan and your partner's plan. Don't forget, we got this underlying 11-11 card. Your legacy will definitely marry up with your twin flame's legacy. That's, like, an undeniable truth, right? So, like, that complimentary thing that I was talking about. Maybe you have this big dream, but you don't have the property. But, you know, homeboy does. It's going to work out for you. I, I really feel the message is belief hope and there is a healing process you're undergoing so just focus on the craft okay because it's going to heal you and help you and maybe your partner needs you to help them heal also so um it's also a card about patience so be patient gemini no it's not your forte no air sign is patient you move with the wind so it's constantly always in motion if you have a lot of air in your chart this is kind of like um what you need to work on okay that's like your your lifetime incarnation is to work on having patience. It's a virtue. You might want to check out the Capricorn uh, video also. Okay, so after Gemini, we have Leo. Nine of Swords. Aich, if it's really a nine, it's a nine. Okay, listen. The Nine of Swords is being stuck in a, in a, in a, in a circle of thought that is not healthy. It's mental anxiety. It's um, stress. It is a mental health issues. An imbalance in the crown chakra. 
It's uh, worrying yourself sick about things, um, worrying about things that are outside of your control. Okay, so let's focus on what you can control. What you can control is your breathing. What you can control are your thoughts when you meditate. What you can control is uh, how you react to things, right? That's what's within your power. So I would say you might need to isolate yourself a little bit or maybe even come out of isolation because maybe you are like thinking too much. This is a lack of sleep, this is insomnia. This is being um, very frigid in the way that you think. So maybe you need to open your mind about something. Let's see what the tarot has for you. Look at this baby, nine of pentacles. Don't worry about that money. Leo, listen, don't worry about the money. Honey, it's going to come into you. If you keep worrying about it, you're blocking it out. You have a nine nine. Nine nine is like the angels are saying, your light team is saying, you're one step away. Don't give up five minutes before the miracle. Don't push away your own abundance. The nine of pentacles is financial freedom. Thank you very much. It is, but I didn't do cancer. We're on Leo. So this is your this is your message. It's very important to know that. There's no mistakes in the tarot. And I will go back and do cancer. Thank you so much, Nadia, for letting me know that. Um, and that's your sign too. <laughs> Take this message though if it resonates for you. Nine of Pentacles is financial freedom and liberation. It's financial independence. It's um, getting one step away from your legacy. We already saw the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So you're in that in between mode, striving to get there. I would say um, invest in your mental health. Invest in your actual wealth. Your health is wealth. But uh, start doing a savings plan. Start having a strategy to get yourself out of that, you know, if you're in the red, you want to get, <laughs> you are a cancer, I thought so. If you want to get out of the situation, move into it. So, um, I am also hearing for you, Leo, that a detox would be really good for you. Something about a hormonal imbalance and that you might be way too focused on money. If it's the only thing you think about, it won't come about if you obsess about it. And I feel like your relationship is going to suffer for it. I do see you coming into a very beautiful union and a, a relationship where you can make money with your partner. Blessings, Leo. Cancer, coming back to you. I'm so sorry I skipped over, but, you know, everything happens for a reason. So let's see. I love it. Two of Pentacles. You want this card. My dear, my dear, my dear. You want this card. The Two of Pentacles is building, and I love how it pairs up with this. This is about two streams of income, about two things that you love, two things that are completely harmonious that are going to get you generational wealth okay it's coming in for you honey money do not give up so two of pentacles is about balancing act between work work and personal life so if you've gone like too far into like work horse mode work horse mode and work house mode your relationship might be suffering because of it okay this is asking you to bring in some that some balance to have that um uh, what do you call this? This a gate, okay? It's, it's the way you walk, the way you walk into the world, the way you maneuver in the material world, how you think about money, how you make your money. And my dear, it's supposed to be easy. I'm hearing that you need to write some emails or send some letters or communicate something about a tangible product or idea or a service. This is something that's going to make people happy. And uh, what do you call it? Um, rosy cheek and bushy eyed i don't know how that goes but something that's very positive okay it's a very positive thing what is the tarot telling you yeah you definitely need to write those emails a communication you have to write a dear letter to somebody or maybe someone's sending you a dear letter but we have two aces we have three elevens here 11 is a master number a life path is 11 an 11 life path is a very difficult thing you are a master of something um and you're able to tell people that you also work with the crown chakra really really well i would definitely invest in having a third eye okay hello my love i would definitely invest in getting um a third eye talisman an evil eye talisman and especially if you want to get it from like an original source or get it from um an outside country okay import it if you have to um protect your crown chakra protect your ideas whether it be legally protecting them Okay, and physically protecting them. Um, I'm getting more so about like um, copyright stuff is coming in right now. Um, patenting, patents coming in also. Protecting your product that's yours. It's like somebody might want to steal your idea, but you have a golden ticket of an idea. Go and make your money. Okay, go and make your money. This is great combination. So cancer worked out for you. Okay. <laughs> It worked out for you very, very well. So this goes over here, this goes over here, and this goes over here. We're not messing up the cars. All right, thank you so much.
much. So we did Cancer, we did Leo. There we go. What's Santa bringing you? Ooh, the Three of Wands. Listen, you are such a um, faithful and dedicated sign. You've been working really, really, really hard at something. And it's, um, you're welcome, love. It's something you're very passionate about, something that is your sweet spot, something that makes you happy, something that makes you fulfilled, and is in line with your integrity, with your beliefs, with your spiritual beliefs, or religious, religious beliefs, okay? This is about um, the consistency. Something you've worked on for a very long time, coming into fruition, okay? It's wands, it's fire energy. I really feel the need that you need to get a red three-wick candle, or three red candles and have them lit, okay? And I literally started a little bit late today because I wanted to go and get this particular candle. I wanted to have it here to have this beautiful, passionate energy to bring in some um, some warmth and some light. And whenever I see that, I do see the three of wands, okay? And we have these beautiful, sweet and sour candies. So it's like, it's gonna be sweet for you. Christmas time is sweet for Virgo. What's the tarot saying to you? Lord of mercy. Things have changed. That's a different energy. Five of swords. This is painful. This is hard. This is having an awkward conversation. You know what this is like? This combination, because we have an eight, right? This is like quitting your nine to five and saying, I'm going to pursue my own passion. I'm going to go work for myself. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. Um, this also lets me know that maybe your best productivity time, if you are the type of person who goes at a dip at 3 p.m., like you start crashing, you need to uplift your energy. But getting the Five of Swords in here, I like to pull an additional five cards and get you an extra message. Virgo, and I'm gonna do that for you because you're a fellow Earth sign. Capricorn and Virgo have a lot in common. And I'm just gonna do it because I can do whatever I want on my own show. So. I'm gonna pick out five cards. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. It's about your money. This is the King of Pentacles. This is your boss. This is your employer. You need to work for yourself. You need to go and work for yourself. Look at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles. You need to go work for yourself. Work your plan. Make your plan and work your plan, Virgo. This is your energy, Earth energy, the Pentacles energy. I really see like maybe you need to meditate on something. Maybe it's like a three-minute meditation to get like the inspiration of what you need to go and do next. Um, but this conversation needs to be had. Um, if you're unclear of what needs to happen, it's also a sign to get a tarot reading. And I have a BOGO sale on right now. Buy one, get one free on my website for all tarot, yoga, and meditation. So you might want to invest in that right now to help you get clarity because there's something like, I feel like someone's holding their cards close to their chest and they're keeping something away from you that you don't need, that information that would help you. And I also feel like there's someone doing your exact job in your workplace and making way more money than you are. De la vérité. En tout cas, we are moving on from Virgo and going into Libra. Look at this, Libra! This was a tarot card of the day. No, it was a bomb of the deck energy, which is great. This is 10K, babe. This is $10,000. This is $10 million. This is getting all the gifts and all the flowers, all the rewards, all the recognition, all the success you wanted. Go check out Taurus' video because Taurus is your sister sign. You guys are both ruled by Venus, and they also got this card, okay? So there might be some messages in there for you, but it's the attainment of everything you wanted. Whatever you want is coming in now. Tense or finality. There's, they're a culmination of a cycle, so you're getting what you want is coming in the material game. Sorry, my neighbors. Okay, everything you want. Someone's like trying to get into my house. Um, absolutely, you're creating this. Something that you've been able to manifest and create. We have the magician, the king of wands, okay? This is someone who creates their own abundance, someone who creates their own lifestyle, someone who definitely works for themselves. This is someone who is able to manifest anything they put their mind to. And in this case, it's, it's physical and, and material success. If you want financial freedom, it's yours. But there is work to be done. Libra, I highly recommend you join my Money Manifest ritual that's coming up on December the 21st. I'll be putting up links in my stories after I post this live onto my account. But Libra, I can't say anything. Oh my God, but look, 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 look. Did I not say 10K? It's literally 10K. So if you're trying to get those 10,000 followers, if you want that 
dollars per month, ten thousand dollars per week. It's yours. It's yours, but it's all in your mindset. You must act like the person who was able to receive this money. So if you think ten k is like okay, that's other people. Other people made that kind of money. Someone else has made that kind of money, but you can't see yourself made that kind of money. You need to do some mirror magic. Mirror magic is about looking yourself in the mirror and reciting an affirmation. It has to do with the kind of thing you want to bring in. So let's just say it's abundance. You take the word abundance, you break it down, and you make it your mantra. Let's say you want to uh, travel every month, okay? And, and you want to go. Also, not to forget, if you're born in the month of October, this is a very strong message for you. Get into that. If you need some help, uh, you can book a spiritual consultation with me, and I can help you out with that. But the money is there, honey. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Way to go, Libra. Who's next? Scorpio. We're on the free. Okay. Eight of swords. This is about thinking you're stuck in a position, but you're not. You have mentally walked yourself into a... What do you call that when you're an actor and they keep giving you the same role all the time? Typecast. You're stuck in a typecast. You'll actually be working for a cast. You might be uh, the star of a show or something, but it's like you've been doing something for so long that mentally you feel like this is the only thing that you can do. Okay? But it's like people are watching you. You might have a lot of attention. People will be like, focusing a lot of energy on you. But the Eight of Swords is thinking, I must be here and can't go anywhere else. This energy is getting like, you know, those ballerine figurines inside the, uh, the, the jewelry box. It just stays around and it's stagnant in this thing. You need some movement. And it's not necessarily physical movement. It's movement in your mind. I think it's about shifting away from a way that you think, okay? What does the tarot have for you? Look at that. Listen, it might be time for you to move homes. It might be time for you to move homes. We have an eight and a three. There's an 11. 11, 11. You might move because of a love relationship. Okay, we have this here. Someone might be pouring into you that you really love to feel, how to feel with that person. It might have you have to sacrifice some money. Okay, but you might grow with this partner and grow the money with this person also. And my energy has totally changed. I feel much more soft. Um, this is someone who definitely softens your hard, cold heart, Scorpio. Okay, this is someone who makes you feel warm. This is someone who brings you the hurt. This is somebody who you want to build a home with. Um, I see some of you need to go on a pilgrimage to somewhere else, whether it be like India. Uh, Mexico, somewhere down south, but I see you building something that's really special. I see you building something really special, something that lasts, something that entertains people. Something about a tent, okay? Something about the tent. It's like, uh, what am I hearing? I'm hearing the show must go on, but that you're not feeling it. I don't know what else to say about that. That's um, Scorpio, the final sign, and I don't know if I actually showed the bottom of the deck for this, Three of Pentacles. So Capricorn, strong message for you in this whole reading. That was your card also. Um, a Three of Pentacles is about building, creating, and it's all about what goes on behind the scenes that people don't see. So you're going to get support. This message for the collective, bottom of the deck. A support from an unknown source. A support from an unseen source. So spirit team helping you out. Fairy godmother helping you out. Mrs. Claus making things happen for you, okay? Believe in your dreams. Believe things are possible. Believe in time to celebrate. We have a three and a three overriding reading at the bottom of the deck. A 33, which is about healing. So definitely your angels are coming in. If pandas speak to you, I see also people going to China also. If that's somewhere you want to go, the North Pole is also calling for you. There is money here again. So we have a 3311, also extremely powerful, that also compounds down to a 44, so Sagittarius. Again, strong message for you throughout this entire reading for all signs, also your own, and also in Capricorn energy. Alrighty. So, we ran around the zodiac wheel. I did that in 45 minutes. No, 40 minutes. That's very impressive. It's very impressive. Miss Kiki is on it today. I'm so glad to be back here and on live. I'm going to be going live again on Sunday as well. I have not chosen a time. Maybe people want to shout out now what time is good on a Sunday. Should we do it in the morning? Should we do it in the evening? Do it in the afternoon? Should I do it three times a day? Let me know what your preferences are, and I'll take the advice from those of you who are on this live now. What time on Sunday would you like me to go live? We're talking about Sunday the... I think that would be the uh, 19th, if I'm not wrong. For 
Friday is today, which is the 16th. So the 18th is Saturday. Yeah, so December the 19th, what time would you guys like me to go live? You can type it into the comments now. Um, the first person who gives me an answer can win a free mini tarot reading. So let's go, people. Also, um, if you want to donate to my channel to get a question answered or support my cause, support my work, operation costs, also, I always greatly appreciate it. I take e-transfers at my email address, which you can find in my, um, on my profile, and you can also go onto my website and donate there as well. And I do accept PayPal. Also, at my email address, which you can find by looking me up there, I'll be posting this live up for um, everyone else to see. I'll be posting today a card to answer your question now. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Here is your answer. Queen of Wands, the answer is yes. Very prosperous, very industrious, very creative, very capable. Um, oh, hi, Sandy. I can see you enjoying. Um, this is being able to create anything you want. This is about being in balance, in balance with your as above, so below energy, knowing that you are co-creator with source, bringing in what you need. Um, whoever got this card, uh, Libra, I see you coming into definitely into a relationship that is a divine counterpart, okay? Divine counterpart. Um, Virgo, I'm also seeing an extra message for you that um, something is definitely over as a confirmation to leave that job. And I'll do one more general card for the collective. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Thank you for your question. Here's the answer. Oh my God! I love it! Libra, you're getting everything you want for sure. For everybody, this is an absolute yes. Okay? It's an absolute yes in the most positive way possible. For those of you who like want to move, want to travel, want to invest, whatever it is, it's a yes, 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 and a yes. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, everyone who has been here. If you missed the beginning, I made an announcement that I am hosting a um, money tree ritual on uh, Zoom. I'll be sending out that link. If you're on my email list, you'll be getting it. There'll also be a link in my stories. And it's going to teach you how to work with the moon. It's going to be a full moon cycle ritual. We're going to be dealing with the new moon in Capricorn, which launches on the 23rd of December. So we'll be getting ready three days prior on the 21st of December. I will be hosting that class. So if you have any questions, you can DM me about it. You can send me an email about it, but I will be communicating those details later on today. Those of you TJIF, I hope you had a nice snow day. I hope you're comfortable. I hope you're warm. I hope you're safe. Love you all. Bye.